Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will continue our discussion with regards to factoring. This is the last part of our series with regards to factoring because last time, we have uploaded a video about common monomial factoring, factoring difference of two squares, and factoring sum and difference of two cubes. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically, um, this one is not that kind of difficult way on how to factor polynomials. So let's say for example, we have x squared plus 7x plus 10. So paano nga ba natin pina factor? So before tayo mag-start, kailangan muna natin malaman na ang leading coefficient nito is equal to 1. So paano ba tayo nag-factor out? So focus tayo sa 1 and 10. So we need to multiply 1 and 10 and that will give us the product of 10. So the product of 10. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin ngayon is we will think of the factors of 10 that can give us the sum of 7. Again, we will, we will find factors of 10 that will give us the sum of 7. So what are the factors of 10? We can list down 10 and 1 because 10 plus 1 is 10. Uh, 10 times 1 is 10. And when we add them, the answer is 11. So it's not 7. So we will try another factor, another pair of factors. So let's have 5 and 2. Okay, 5 and 2. 5 times 2 is 10, and 5 plus 2 is 7. So, ating kailangan natin factors. So, what will happen is since yung ating leading coefficient ay 1, automatically, yung mismong pattern natin is, simple, uh, is simply x, x, and then 5, 2. Since para sa positive, this will be x plus 5, and then x plus 2. Ito na yung mismo factors natin for the first example. Again, the factors of x squared plus 7x plus 10 is equal to x plus 5 times x plus 2. So let's have another example for you to practice more about factoring trinomials. Let's have this example, x squared plus 8x plus 15. Again, the leading coefficient, coefficient here is 1, and you have here your 15. So 1 times 15 is 15. So what, what we will do here, guys, is alamin natin anong factors, or what are the factors of 15 that will add up to 8. So let's try. Let's start with 15 times 1. So, hindi pwede kasi 15 plus 1 is 16. So, not 8. So, we will try 5 and 3. 5 times 3 is 15. Okay? 5 plus 3 is 8. So, ito na yung kailangan natin gamitin. So, ang coefficient natin yung 1. So, same pattern. This is x plus 5 times x plus 3. Ganun lang siya kadali on how to apply this kind of factoring when it comes to trinomials. So let's have the third example para mas master natin ito. And this time, we will include negative sign. Okay, we will try negative sign. So our third example is x squared plus 8x minus 20. Meron tayong negative. Okay, remember, your coefficient is 1, and this is negative 20. 1 times negative 20 is negative 20. So, what we will do is we will try to fi figure out which factors of negative 20 that can give us the sum of positive 8. Since this is a no, apuntahan na natin yung mga positive niya. And the negative na lang tayo, sige. Um, negative 20, let's start with negative 20 times 1. Hindi rin pwede. Or kahit gawin natin itong positive, this is negative, hindi pa rin kaya. 
Okay. So we will start with negative 10 and 2. So negative 10 times 2 is negative 20. Pero pag inad natin, that is negative 8. So pwede natin gawin dito is we will make 10 be the positive number or integer. This is your negative integer. So this is your factors. Because 10 plus negative 2 is positive 8. So the factors of this expression is simply x plus 10 times x minus 2. And sir, ang tanong po dito, pwede po ba mag-interchange yung pwesto ng factors natin? Yes, pwede pwede. Let's say for example, uh, ito ay x minus 2 times x plus 10. So kung gusto mong patunayan natin if they are the same, we can use FOIL method. By FOIL method, x times x is x squared. Okay? Then, this is x times 10 plus 10x. Negative 2 times x. It will give you negative 2x. Negative 2 times 10, that is negative 20. And then, add this up. This will give you 8, uh, sorry, x squared plus 8x minus 20. As you can see, same lang ng ating given trinomial ka So, we have first, second, third. And let's move on with the fourth example. And this one is quite difficult. And I hope na maksabay kayo. Pero for sure, kaya, kaya nito. Okay. So for our fourth example, we have here 2x squared 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. And the difference of this one, takayan ko na konti. Minus 3x minus 2. The difference of this one from the first three examples is that the leading coefficient of this trinomial is equal to 2. So what we will do is we will multiply 2 times negative 2 and that is negative 4. So, the target natin dito is to find the factors of negative 4 that can give us the sum of negative 3. Again, the sum of negative 3. So, the factors are negative 4 times 1. Ito na We have negative 4 times 1. Because negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So, paano ba natin gagawin yung pag-factor? Hindi na siya yung katulad kanina. So what we will do is to copy first 2x squared. And ito nga, i-break down natin. I-break down natin itong negative 3x as two terms gamit yung negative 4 at 1 as your coefficient. So what will happen, itong negative 3x natin will become negative 4x plus x. Sir, paano po nangyari yan? So imagine you will add negative 4x plus x, in which this is 1. Negative 4 plus 1 is equal to 3. So they are just the same. Pares lang sila. And then copy the last term, which is negative 2. So what we will do here is we will apply factoring by grouping. We will regroup them. Ito muna tayo. Okay. So dito, meron tayong common, which is 2x. So we have 2x times. I-factor out natin to. 2x times x minus 2. And dito, meron tayong plus x minus 2. So, what are the factors? Papansin nyo, parehas, di ba? Parehas. Tapos, meron tayo dito invisible 1. Okay? Since parehas yung x minus 2, we can factor it out and it will become x minus 2 times what will remain here is yung 2x natin plus 1. So, the factors are x plus x minus 2 times 2x plus 1. Ito yung mismo sagot natin for the fourth example. I hope na natuto kayo sa ating process on how to factor out trinomials. So again, kung gusto mong panoorin yung mga videos natin sa series natin about factoring, meron na tayong common monomial factoring, meron tayong factoring difference of two squares, meron tayong sum and difference of two cubes at ito yung huli natin ginawa. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit na rin yung bell button 
for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goy. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!